the day, the ride is going to be what you bring to it. If you bring good energy, you're going to have a good time. These are all of us, most of us, many of us have never twisted a mile together. So patience is going to be needed, positive vibes, encouragement. We're going to have newer riders, we're going to have senior riders. You just got to all work together. We're going to do the traditional biker community as the big game plan here. Last but not least, the, the guest of the hour, Amanda. <laughs> expecting to speak so <laughs> um, well first uh, this is so emotional for me um, geez I can't even get it started thank you all for just being a part of this and um, making such a difference in the community um, I don't know if everyone heard my like little story so I'll just kind of give a little blurb on uh, why wh what's my why and why I'm here and all that good stuff is uh, my sister took her life back in 2019. She was five years younger and um, she was like a little healer. She did like sound bowl healing and all these things and was in a nasty relationship and um, decided to take her own life and uh, it destroyed the family. Craig and I were talking and um, one of the things that uh, matters to me now because you know, I still, I still have those thoughts. I mean, I am pretty open with the fact that, you know, I have so many things that kind of just hit, hit all the way up to the top. Even the last couple of weeks, it's like, sometimes it's one thing right after another. And then sometimes people don't want to talk to the other person. For example, I, why am I going to take my stuff to someone else who's going through something? People don't want to burden other people, but you've got to, you know? Um, so my sister used to write after her name every for years and years love surrounds you after uh after her after she would sign her name which is why it's, it is the love surround your memorial foundation and um i i bought a bike when when she took her life because i didn't know what else to do so i decided to start riding all by myself and um i was lonely doing that after a year or so and was like I was leaning up against my car and I heard a little voice that said you know you need to do a ride and do a rally and figure out how to bring resources together and um, last year was the third year and that was the very first like that was the first vision I saw of it actually coming true you know so we had <laughs> My turn, Moto. <laughs> I met her on TikTok and met so many of you on TikTok and social media uh, that decided to pick up a piece of this. JD uh, is new to the group this year and he's going around doing interviews and testimonies, which is making a difference out there on social media. It's reaching people's hearts. If there's anybody in this group that wants to make something happen with this, like this is not my thing, this is our thing. I, I mean, this is our thing. I never had the idea of the travel train, you know? Somebody else had the idea. And I think that's what keeps making it amazing is that there's individuals who need this the way that I have needed it and still need it. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing is because I still need it in honor of my sister and the ones that we've lost, but there's still people living that hurt, you know? And right now, times are really tough for a lot of people in different ways and, you know, not to get into all that, but, um, you know, what I'll say kind of along the lines of what Greg, Craig was saying is uh, perceptions and like honesty and trying to just step back and think of people are just humans. You know, I know I know everybody's got different things, but sometimes there's always a story that we don't know. And I'm really good at creating my own stories. <laughs> I don't know if you are, but. I can look at you too and create my own story. I can look at you and I can create my own story. If I'm going to create a story about you, then I should probably create a good one. And that's really hard for a lot of people because we are always, you know, ready to be defensive and ready to, you know, defend ourselves and all these different things, but it's not being raw, you know. So I ask you on this trip, put everything down, be vulnerable. Be raw, tell the truth about what's going on inside. <laughs> and um, I think that's the only way we get better and that's the only way we can kind of get rid of the whole mental health, suicide awareness thing. I have like a thousand people on my personal page on Facebook and um, way more than half don't support me in this, you know? Um, and I struggled with it for a long time because I'm like, if you love me, why don't you support me? 
and uh, it, it is because some people don't understand it and don't go have not gone through it. But for me, I'm talking to the mom whose nine year old took her life, all the way to I work in senior living and I deal with the veterans and the home. I mean, homeless. I mean, it's it's rampant. Relationships, relationships are so hard on people, you know. Um, so there's so many different areas. So when we get to the rally. Uh, my goal is to create a community of resources. And the cool thing about being here is, you know, talking to different people is I want to create resources across the entire country, not just Lakeland, Florida. And I've been doing that and been doing that. Uh, the Love Surrounds You Memorial Foundation not only does like the ride for attention and things like that to make sure we're seen and heard the way people are hurting want to be seen and heard. Um, but the goal is to create resources of all kinds uh, I'm big on being inclusive and not exclusive. So, you know, one person might be Christian, one might be a pagan, one might be an atheist. I don't care. I don't care. We're all hurting for different reasons. And um, I want to create resources around the world, around the country for that. So if you do have any, please message me. Uh, my, my, the email is right out of the, right out of the darkness at yahoo.com. If you have any suggestions of resources in your area, what we're doing is building up an application where people can apply for a scholarship and then get some sort of resource that is good for them. Not because I picked it out, but because it really helps them. So that's kind of my mission. Um, I've been an emotional mess, if I'm being quite honest, this whole entire, like, last week. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know that I've cried, cried today, but I've cried every other day, and that's the truth. Um, you know, it just seems like... I ask myself every single year, why in the world do I do this? <laughs> and um, then I get around all of you and I know why I do it. So thank you. Thank you for being here.